In the mid 1980s, UGC had started a new experiment that was to create centers of excellence in the university sector known as inter university center. Astronomy is generally a very appealing subject for everybody. From when people are very young, people look up at the sky and wonder about the universe. But then, often, people cannot follow up this curiosity because they don't see research facilities in astronomy and astrophysics around them within the country. This is why Ayuka was set up, so that we can help universities teach astronomy and help the people who are working at universities do research, understanding the universe. With the vision of the Doins, Professor Jayant Vishnu Narlikar and Professor Yashpal, the Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics was set up in 1989 in the city of Pune, India. Ayuka's activities fall under two broad categories. We have our own core academic program. We also interact with the faculty and students of Indian universities and higher education centers. Um, all over India, where people who are doing research come to Ayuka uh, and do their work here. They work with us and they work with each other. There are about 17 faculty members and at any given moment, there are about 30 research students and 25 postdoctoral fellows at Ayuka. We have a very strong theory group here, which works on theoretical aspects of astrophysics. We have a very strong observational group here, which actually observes at the leading telescopes in India and internationally, right? And we have a very strong and very well-managed instrumentation laboratory. These are three main lines of activity in Ayuka, and they mesh together very well. Ayuka covers almost all areas in astronomy and astrophysics. Cosmology and general relativity are the main thrust areas of theoretical research. There is significant research in solar, stellar, galactic and extragalactic astronomy in all wavelengths. It actually provides a very stress-free free atmosphere where one is able to work on anything that one wants, especially so many areas of research are uh, pursued here, which is very unique. Ayuka is a very dynamic, vibrant place, very student-friendly and has frontier research collaborations with a lot of institutions all over the world. As far as atmosphere is concerned, uh, there is a constant influx of people. There are both world-class experts as well as uh, young, vibrant researchers. There are always new ideas, new interactions, and it's always helpful for our research. Ayuka researchers have been part of many discoveries, like the historic one of gravitational waves. Over the past three decades, the faculty at Ayuka has won many accolades, including several Bhatnagar Awards, Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan, and a Padma Vibhushan. Ayuka got its first set of buildings in 1991, and the main campus was completed in 1992. The iconic campus, designed by architect Charles Correa, has the main campus, Devyani, the residential complex, Akash Ganga, and areas accessible to public like the well-equipped Chandrasekhar Auditorium, the Science Center, and the Science Park. Ayuka has a very vigorous uh, visiting academic program. Uh, we are catering to all the universities and to spread astronomy in the university sector. We have visiting associates of Ayuka who can come and spend a considerable amount of time here making use of all the facilities and being fully funded. And uh, we have more than 600 total visitors uh, to Ayuka. We also have uh, international visitors who come to collaborate with our faculty and uh, to also attend international conferences in Ayuka. And this is one way in which we keep in touch with the rest of the world. The well-furnished student hostels and guest houses, Nalanda and Takshashila, allow for easy interactions among visiting and resident academics at any time of the day. One example I can give is two people from two different universities, one from north, one from south. They happened to come here, they were working on similar problems, so they decided to collaborate. And they wrote a scientific paper which was published in a good journal. 
Now this sort of thing could not have been possible before a center like this were in existence. Ayuka is, uh, has been a source of inspiration for the university sector particularly. During my uh, PhD student time, I had been here and then I became a faculty, so I know a very, I have a good impression about Ayuka. We come from a very distant place, you know that we are from the Kashmir, but if we come, we feel it like a home. I am very happy about my association with Ayuka since it has given me the chance for uh, doing research in my passion subject astrophysics. Uh, recently I was also a part of a, a discovery of a supercluster which uh, happened from Ayuka. We conduct uh, so many workshops and uh, training programs for the t uh, students so that students get motivated to come into astronomy. Ayuka is uh, doing tremendous job in promoting astronomy and astrophysics research work at various Indian universities. Four of my PhD students, they are working in collaboration with Ayuka faculty members. They visit Ayuka regularly. They avail Ayuka facilities. Astronomy and astrophysics can be uh, an expensive business. And that is why instead of providing such facilities to individual universities all over India, the decision was made to centralize some of these facilities and help the university researchers, including students, to have access to these facilities through Ayuka. We have the Gravely Telescope that we have built near Pune, and we have facilities like South African Large Telescope in South Africa, in which uh, the UGC through Ayuka has a stake and so uh, anybody from Indian universities can observe with one of the largest telescopes in the world. The observational strength at Ayuka is further bolstered by the Ayuka Instrumentation Laboratories. The strengths of the instrumentation group span a wide range of fields. Images, spectrographs, photometers, high-speed electronic controllers and spectropolarimeters. They also take care of the Ayuka Giravli Telescope, a 2-meter class telescope situated very close to Pune. Advanced instruments developed in-house at Ayuka as well as in several national and international collaborations have been deployed at observatories around the world. Going forward, the laboratory is part of instrument development for the proposed 30-meter telescope or TMT, the largest and most advanced telescope ever made to see the universe in optical and near-infrared light. Ayuka is a major player in the world virtual observatory movement which uh, makes all the astronomical data available anywhere in the world uh, to the entire uh, Indian and the international community. So a person sitting in Assam or in Kerala or in Madhya Pradesh has exactly the same access to the data as the best astronomers in the world. LIGO India is one of the precise instruments that is being set up to measure gravitational waves from Indian soil. Ayuka is the key science stakeholder and one of the lead institutes of LIGO India. We are taking the university sector together into this new adventure in new astronomy with gravitational waves. Ayuka has worked with the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, to provide access to uh, astronomical research using space platforms. ISRO launched AstroSat, which is a multi-user, uh, multi-instrument, multi-wavelength astronomical mission, which has been orbiting in space for two years now. And anybody who belongs to an Indian university who wants to use this facility can come to Ayuka, use the AstroSat Science Center's facilities to learn how to use this data how to propose for new observations and how to draw science out of it into research papers. In ISRO's mission to the sun, Aditya L1, um, Ayuka is building an instrument that will observe the sun. And through Ayuka, again, um, the university researchers can take part in observing the sun using this facility. The many facilities of Ayuka include the telescopes as well as the high performance computing center and the marvelous library that are used by visitors from the universities and colleges for their own research. Computers are integral part of astronomy. We not only have to process huge amount of data, but we also have to do detailed simulations in order to understand what we observe. 
So Ayuka has set up a state-of-the-art uh, high-performance computing facility here, which not only serves the people who work here, but also several of our associates all over the country. The Ayuka Library serves as the main resource library for university academics in the areas of astronomy, astrophysics. It provides users access to its comprehensive collection of books and journals, both in print and online, as well as related databases. Given the fascination that the general public has for astronomy, IUCA public outreach programs create several contact events for the people to interact with our astronomers. At our science center, we also develop educational resources that are useful for teaching and for amateur astronomy. We are also host to unique projects like the Arvind Gupta Science Toys, which try to bring in things which we use in daily life into science learning so as to hook children onto science for life. The Ayuka SciPop reaches out to tens of thousands every year through local and national level activities including school events, teacher trainings, telescope workshops, national campaigns, etc. The efficient and friendly administrative and estate departments contribute a lot to the smooth running of the institute. They make sure that the focus of the academics can remain on the research. Since we continue to introduce the teaching of astronomy at the university level, as well as uh, make sure that Indian researchers work at the forefront of uh, astronomical research uh, at the international level, we have been able to live up to the mandate that was given to us by the government almost three decades ago.